In this easy Procreate tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this abstract watercolor poster step by step. You can get all tutorial files via the free download link in the description below. If you are ready, let's grab our pencils and get started. For this design, I'll create a new canvas in the size of my iPad screen. So let me click on this plus button here and select this option from the list. It's called screen size. Today we will use a few standard Procreate brushes from the industrial, calligraphy and inking sections. Also, we will practice quite a few Procreate tools and features, such as clipping mask, layer mask and try various blending modes. In the tutorial files, in addition to the color palette and texture image, you will find a set of 5 brushes. One of them comes from the newest bundle that I shared exclusively on my Patreon. It's a big set of premium texture brushes and two color stamps that I called Easy Paint. They are very easy to use. You just need to select two colors. By the way, the color palette is also included and it has seven combinations. So I'm selecting this and all I need to do is to tap on the canvas with a stamp. This is what we will get. Very cool watercolor textured plant. I'll try another one. These are my favorites. You can get the set along with 25 other brush sets and watch over 100 exclusive tutorials on my Patreon page. You can check it out in the video description below. If you haven't yet, you can also download the files we will use in this tutorial via the Gumroad link below for free. First of all, I'll go ahead and change the background color. To do that, let's tap on the background color in the layers and select color number 1 from the palette. Now we can start drawing various abstract shapes. For the first one, I will select color number 3. Most of the time I'd like to keep the edges textured rather than smooth. So we can pick a brush from inking that is called dry ink. I will only increase the amount of streamline to make it easier to use. And after that I will draw a shape in this corner. Let it look like this. We can fill it right away and adjust color drop threshold if needed by sliding the pencil to the left. I will just fix it quickly. And after that we can apply the texture. To keep the texture inside the shape, we can create a new layer and then clip it. Now let's change the color to number 6. Go to Industrial set from Procreate and grab Concrete block. This brush is in texturized mode, so the size doesn't matter. We just need to apply it without lifting the pencil up. Like this. I think we can make the texture even lighter. So let's first change the Lace mode to Add. Then go to Adjustments, Hue Saturation Brightness and increase brightness to 67%. So it will start looking like glitter. After that, these two layers can be merged. Maybe I will just move it a bit down. Alright. Now let's draw another element on the left side. So I will pick the second color, which is this blue. Go to Recent Brushes and select Dry Ink again. For this new shape I will create a new layer and first draw a horizontal line. It will go slightly upper than the first shape. Like this. If you wait a second, you will make the Quick Shape tool work. It will make the line straight. I will just move it a bit like this. And after that draw another line that will go vertically from here. I will also wait a second and after that we can adjust it. I will keep some space on top for more elements, so I will stop here. And in the end draw an arc, starting from the edge and matching it here with the line. We can also edit this arc. And once the shape is ready, we need to fill it. I will just fix the edges quickly. And also the shape.
Now it is fine, I think. Let's add some texture to it. But this time it will be watercolor. So I will first create a new layer. Also clip it. And change the layers mode to soft light. Let's select black color. It can be number 9. Then go to the bundle. And select glazed ink. The size also doesn't matter here. We just need to apply it on the shape. I will make it a bit bigger. So we can try to move it to find the best texture. I like it like this. Now I will select white color, for that I'm going to the color disk. To double tap here, on the white area. I will grab cloudy splash brush. And actually I think it will be better if we create another layer. So we will be able to move the texture if needed. I will create it above this one. But then also clip to keep the texture inside. The size of this brush is set to 88% and opacity is at around 70%. I will just make a subtle stroke going up like this, with very low pressure. We can also move it to see more splashes. Alright. Now this shape is also ready. Let's go ahead and merge all the layers for it. Start adding even more shapes. And the next one will be located on the layer above, so let's create it. Go to the color palette and select this color number 5. This shape will be more certain, not so abstract. So it will remind a pot or a vase. To draw it faster, I'm going to use symmetry. So to activate it I will go first to actions and enable drawing guide. Let's now click Edit Drawing Guide and switch to Symmetry. We can now move the grid. I will place it somewhere here, just moving it a bit to the right. But of course later we can move the shape as well. Let's make sure that Assisted Drawing is on here and then click Done. Let's also use Dry Ink to draw it. But I will make the size a bit smaller, let's say 15%. First I will draw a horizontal line, somewhere here, we can even tap on the canvas, so it goes strictly horizontal. Then I will draw a short line vertically, and then I will draw a novel at some distance, like this. Let's tap Edit Shape and adjust it. After that I will connect this part with an arc. Draw another vertical line at the bottom. Then a horizontal one. We can also tap here and draw a rectangle. Now I will start filling the shapes and adjust in color drop threshold. We may need to fix it here, but still keep some texture. All right. Now this shape is ready, let's also add some texture to it. First I will remove the drawing guide and maybe move it a little, somewhere here. We can even transform it, like this. Alright, now I like how it looks, so I will create a new layer for the texture. Here we don't have to use symmetry. We just need to clip it, then select color number 7 and also change the layers mode to linear burn. Let's pick glazed ink brush, 
and paint a bigger area. So we can now move it. I will darken this part of the pot on the left side. This way. And in the next step, I'd like to apply a glitter texture. So we need to import it first. We can actually merge these two layers now. And after that import the image. It's called glitter texture. I will put it on the pot. And after that clip it. Now let's add a layer mask to it. Select a black color from the color disk and drag it on the texture to make it disappear. Now if we pick white color, pick dry ink brush and start drawing the lines, we will reveal the texture, but only on the areas that we need. I will draw a few lines like this. And the last one. Now let's go to the layer with the image instead of mask. And darken some areas. Here I'm going to use Hue Saturation Brightness option. But in pencil. Let's select soft brush from airbrushing. Set Hue to 50%. And lower the brightness just a little bit. I will apply it on the side. Now we can adjust it. And make it darker if you like. Just make some more strokes. Like this. Once it is ready, we can deselect. And since we have this vase, we can put a plant in it. We can definitely merge these two layers, since it is ready. And then I will create a layer below. It's time to use the stamp. So we will need two colors. Let's go to the color palette. And as the first color, I will select this one. Now let's tap on the second color. And select the last color from the palette, which is almost black. We can now select the stamp from the set. Set the size to around 45% and just tap on the canvas. Now we can transform it. I will put it here. Maybe move down. And then stretch it in free form. Like this. If it lost some quality, we can bring it back by sharpening. This feature is in adjustments. I will just slide a little to the right. So the texture will get sharp again. Now it is also ready. Let's just add a few more elements on the background. So we will need another layer. But I will place it under all layers. For this one I will select color number 6 from our palette. Selecting dry ink from recent brushes and drawing a simple shape like this. Just sort of a circle. Let me fill it. And I will adjust it using warp. The Quify tool would work here as well. So it'll go this way. And now we can apply watercolor texture on another layer created above this one. And it needs to be clipped. I will pick white color from the color disk. Select our glazed ink brush, which has soft watercolor texture, and then apply it. We can also move it however we want and scale. 
All right. It is also ready, so let's add another element. I'm merging these two layers and creating another one. We have some empty space here in the corner, so let's use it. Here I will first apply white color. Also using dry ink first. Just draw a smaller shape. Let's fill it. And just color drop threshold. And adjust the shape using warp. It is very easy. I like something like this. And at the end we need to apply watercolor texture. Let me move it a little. So I have more space around it. And then I will create a layer above. With the clipping mask. Let's apply this watercolor texture using color number 4. So I'm picking the brush from the recent. And drawing like this. I will just move it. And maybe reduce saturation a little. So it doesn't look exactly like this shape. A little different. Now let's grab this dark color. Go to the bundle for watercolor poster. And select this brush with splashes. I will apply it on another layer. So we can merge these two. And create another one above. Its size is set to 18% and we can apply it using tapping. Just tap a few times. And we can move it as well and rotate. I just want it to go a little more outside. So I will tap one more time. Alright, now it is also ready, let's add some final elements. So I'd like to add another arc around this shape, using white color. Let's select it from the color disk and create one more layer, it can be located above this one. Now we need to select a brush, so let's go to inking and use thylacin. But I will adjust it first. So I will duplicate the brush, go inside the settings and in Apple Pencil I will remove all dynamics in pressure so it won't change. Also if we go to shape now we can see that the count is set to 2. If you like to make it more textured we can set count to 1. But if you like to make it more smooth, you can increase count, let's say to 8, so it's up to you. I think I prefer textured option, so I will reduce count. Finally, we can go to stabilization and increase the amount of streamline. Just to make the drawing easier. I will also add some amount in stabilization and motion filtering. Now we can use it. I set the size to 14% and I will make a stroke like this, drawing an arc first and then going down all the way to the edge. I will move it like this and to make it parallel I will use distortion. Now it is perfect. I just want to draw one last shape. So I will create a layer behind this one. And grab color number 4. Let's also use dry ink. And I will just draw two arcs. The first one. 
let me adjust it right away. And after that I will draw one more. Try to make the second line parallel. Now let's fill it. And I will adjust the entire shape. It may intersect with this arc. Alright, now let's apply with a color texture quickly. So I'm creating another layer, then clipping it. And for the water color I will be using color number 3. Selecting glazed ink and applying it on the shape. Let's now merge these two layers. Then create another one to add some tiny elements. I will use color number 9. And this will be the squares. The size is set to 8% and I will start making a horizontal stroke. Drawing around 11 or 10 squares. Like this. Now we can stretch it however we want. After that I will duplicate the layer, click on the arrow and in the snapping enable magnetics. So we can drag it down. I think this one may go a little up. Closer to the corner. And in the second line I will erase the first square. Like this. Let's just create one last layer, switch back to white color, to add final elements. So we need to go to calligraphy and from here select streaks. I've set the brush size to 23% to draw various curves. It may go this way. So we will just fill the empty areas. This one may go on the watercolor shape. And then one more. Making it curvy. And after this final step, our abstract watercolor poster design is complete. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials and brush sets, please check out my Patreon page. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.